Hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas. Um, situation has not really changed. Um, however, we had a little bit of price action today, quite a, you could say, sizable pullback after the rally that we saw recently. It is not deep enough to get bearish or anything. Um, the price, however, broke back into this price channel that we were tracking. Um, that's not necessarily a sign that, you know, we are, we are coming down to new lows already. But bear in mind that, first of all, short term, we are still watching for higher prices as long as the $3.4 level is holding, at least in this wave count, at least in this wave count. So we are going to zoom in in a minute. But overall, for anybody who's new on this channel to really understand the overall idea of this wave count, the idea is that this is an ABC structure and it's a so-called expanded flat. Expanded flats often happen in a wave four. Um, wave fours are really, really boring, very stretched out. Um, they can unfold as a triangle. In this case, this sideways correction seems to be unfolding as a flat. Now, this flat correction reached already our larger retracement area, our larger resistance area for this fourth wave. We've been waiting for that for months and months and months. Um, and we are, we, we've, we've, you know, we've arrived there. Um, the micro count for me still suggests higher prices. It's a very complex one, not entirely happy with it. You know, therefore we need to be on our toes here at any time that this could break down again, because primarily we are still watching for another bear market low. And that can happen even after we go a little higher. So something much more bullish will really only come into play above $4.52 because the 50% retracement level is basically my maximum yeah, for a fourth wave. So anything above that would be more clearly bullish. Until then, yes, I'm watching still for higher prices short term, but now that we've actually ar arrived in the larger target area, we need to be on the lookout that this wave four could be over at any time, okay? Um, overall, still another low expected and we're going to talk about the micro count now. So the overall idea is that we're now in a C wave. So looking at this, looking at the one hour chart, the idea is that this is some kind of a wave four. Um, we are coming down in a normal manner. I mean, it's, it's not unusual. We had quite a bit of a rally in a third wave here. This fourth wave can technically stretch out all the way down to $3.04, but ideally, ideally not below $3.15. Um, if we see a break below $3.15, it will increase the likelihood of the whole setup to break because the ideal target is the 38.2 retracement level. Anything below that increases the likelihood of it breaking and below $3.04, it would lose its impulsive character here to the upside within this third wave. There will be a few alternatives that we can talk about. So another bullish alternative I see is the idea that this is... Um, that this actually is a one, two setup. So all of this as a wave one and the move down as a wave two. And then we could come down a little lower as long as we don't take out the, um, one second, what level is it? The um, $2.56 level, this would technically be valid, but it would get unlikely below the 78.6 retracement. So $2.74. So we can keep it very simple and I can tell you that as long as we're holding above $3.04, I'm looking at higher in this wave structure. A break below that will cause me to look at $2.75, but below that level, I will have to assume that I will have to assume that the overall top in the wave four is already in. Okay, and that we just moved up, that this C wave to the upside is already complete. Yeah, I mean, you can count it complete. It just doesn't look very good, but we have to expect it then. And if that's the case, then we could come down to round about $1.50. Um, but honestly, to really, for, for, it, looks, it looks okay. I mean, it could be finished. For me, a few more subdivisions higher are missing. But of course, you can never rule out that in a still active downtrend, yeah, that these breakdowns um, happen a little earlier. But that's exactly why we track support to understand when things are changing, right? So still looking at higher, it will obviously be very important how the next week starts. Um, it looks like it might want to get a little lower 
and obviously $3.15 is highly relevant in $3.04. Below that level, we seriously have to consider that um, we are already coming down and that this top is already in place. Um, there is still, again, a bullish fallback option, you could say, in what I just explained to you, um, that we're dealing here with a 1-2 setup, okay? So that's obviously technically possible. Um, yeah, I mean, if if all of wave four is already finished here, if the entire the entire correction that started in February is already finished, then I would probably see this as a first um, one two setup. Yeah? I don't like the idea because it would mean that we had a truncated high. Okay, so co counting this as an impulse to the upside, as I just explained to you would mean that we would have a truncated high and I don't like that idea without further evidence. Okay, so I, I you know I you know it's not it's not an ideal scenario um that we've topped already. It it doesn't really quite add up. There are some things on the microstructures that I don't like. So I will focus on this scenario until it gets invalidated and then there are a few fallback options as I said, but a very clear signal that things are changing on this chart. Well, first of all, a break below $3.04, but much more important and a much more significant signal would be a break to the downside of this price channel because then we should come down to $2.14 next and then it's not too far to around about $1.40, $1.50. So yeah, that's sort of what we need to be watching for next week, these key levels. And then as soon as um, the wave three high is taken out at $3.46, we should start to climb higher again. I, I'm very clear. I'm not sure if we get all of these subdivisions, but at least a few more squiggles higher in the yellow box would be great. Yeah, so that's my update about NatGas. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. Last week, we launched our stocks and um, S&P 500 service. If you're interested in daily updates about the S&P and several stocks, then um, you might want to check it out. Link is in the video description. It's the Patreon link. And yeah, wish you a great weekend. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.